Okay, now we're going to show Ableton's version of the classic gate effect. Here we have a simple three track set open here. The first track is a drum rack made of nothing but kick drum samples. Second track here is a, another drum rack made of nothing but hats and snare samples. If we open it up here, we can see that the hats are laid out in triplet view. We can switch between triplet view with command or control three. And the third track here is uh, made up of an Ebo electric instrument that's going to provide us some ambience. Now I'm going to go ahead and play through the tracks here so you can hear what they sound like. So kick. Snare's coming in. And here's the ambience. And uh, that ambience is what we're going to chop up with the gate effect. Now, Ableton's gate, of course, allows full control and automation of all of its parameters. But another nice feature is its sidechaining abilities. With sidechaining switched on, I'm able to gate this signal with the input from another track. Here I'm selecting the second track, the Hats and Snares triplet track that I showed you from earlier. And I'm going to go ahead and play it back and you can have a listen. The attack control and release control the way the gate opens and hold is defining how long the gate is going to stay open. And this will be the parameter that I'm playing with. You can hear it getting gated up there. You can open it up. Now, of course, this whole parameter can be automated, and that's what I'm going to show you. Hitting, um, bring up the browser browser mode here, and go into MIDI map mode, and you can see that I have the whole parameter mapped to a CC10, and with a min value of 1.5 seconds and a max of one millisecond. So I have that inverted here. So as I turn the knob to the right it's going to decrease the value. Um, and that's set up that way because I have the device on setting here mapped to the same parameter. So when the knob is set to zero, the effect is off and I'm saving CPU. And when, I, when it gets to one, it activates. And from there on out, it turns the knob down. So I'll demonstrate that now. All the way to the left. As I turn it on, you hear the effects. And that's the effect I wanted. Uh, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial, and thanks, Ableton.